Здравствуйте. Меня зовут Вера Алексеевна Полякова Норвуд. Добро пожаловать на урок русского языка. Добро пожаловать. Well, and now that test number three is out of the way, let us just talk a little. I begin each class with Здравствуйте. You remember that phrase very well. You're supposed to know it very, very well. Здравствуйте. You know, it means hello, but it also has a much nicer, much deeper meaning. Each time I say hello, I say stay in good health, be well. This Russian greeting is very meaningful. Здравствуйте. At the end of class, you hear до свидания. До свидания. And what does до свидания mean? Well, of course, it means goodbye. It also means until we meet again. До свидания. Until I see you next time. До свидания. Very often I say спасибо. Thank you. Спасибо. And uh, then there's another phrase that I use quite often. Пожалуйста. And пожалуйста means several different things. We use it when we want to say please, пожалуйста. We use it when we want to say you are welcome, пожалуйста. And uh, it also means, well, go ahead, please, or this way, please, пожалуйста. It's a very, very widely used Russian word, and you ought to know how to use it and when to use it. It's a word that always expresses politeness. Пожалуйста. Хорошо. What does хорошо mean? Good. Well. Okay. The Russian people use the word хорошо even more often than Americans use okay. Хорошо. And uh, when everything is going very well, I say очень хорошо. Uh, very good. Very well. Очень хорошо. So these are our everyday phrases. But let's come back to здравствуйте. Do you remember how exactly we use the phrase здравствуйте? Ну, хорошо. So let's take a look at our everyday greetings. We have здравствуйте. Здравствуй and привет. You know, здравствуйте is used to greet an adult person. It is also used to address a group of people. It's your normal, standard, polite way of greeting people in general. And then you also use this phrase to greet one adult person because remember the Russian culture and the Russian language treat an adult person as more than more than one, as a multiple entity. This way we show respect. Здравствуйте. Then здравствуй is used to greet a friend and a family member someone with whom you have a close relationship. And then привет is a very, very informal greeting. Again, you can use it with those people with whom you are very close. Well, reserve привет for very close friends and uh, close family members. Don't use привет to greet people well, whom you know, but with whom you are not very close. So you really have to understand the implications of the Russian culture and how the Russian people use these greetings. Well, just my advice would be stay with здравствуйте. It's always safe. Ну, хорошо. But let's practice a little bit with this. Let's look at, this, at the pictures of people. And I want you to tell me how you are going to greet them. Well, you meet them in the morning, you see them in the morning. What are you going to say? So let's begin with this. How can we greet this man? Здравствуйте. Remember, he is an adult person. You say, здравствуйте. Хорошо. How about this? We see a group of kids in this picture. And how do we greet them? 
Здравствуйте. Да, we are addressing a group of people. Здравствуйте. Хорошо. But what are you going to say to this person? Здравствуй. Здравствуй. You know, teenagers all over the world are so informal with each other, so you can either say здравствуй or even привет. Let's look at this. How are we going to greet this lady? Здравствуйте. Again, we are greeting an adult person. We have to be formal and polite. Здравствуйте. And uh, what are you going to say to them? Здравствуйте. You are greeting more than one person. Здравствуйте. Or if they are your close friends, just say привет. Привет. Хорошо. But in the Russian language, we do have other greetings. We have um, something like good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So let's take a look at these phrases. Доброе утро. Good morning. You see a nice person in the morning and you say Доброе утро. Доброе утро. Good morning. Good morning is a little bit more informal than Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Доброе утро. Then in the afternoon we say Добрый день. Добрый день. Good afternoon. Добрый день. And the evening greeting is Добрый вечер. Добрый вечер. Доброе утро. Добрый день. Добрый вечер. I want everybody to repeat after me now. Доброе утро. Добрый день. Добрый вечер. Хорошо. And let's take a look at these phrases in the cursive format. And this is also what you are supposed to have in your notebooks. Доброе утро. Good morning. Доброе утро. Добрый день. Good afternoon. Добрый день. And the evening greeting is Добрый вечер. Добрый вечер. Good evening. And from these greetings, we can pick up the Russian words for morning, day, and evening. Утро, день, вечер. Утро ends in O, so it's a neuter noun. День is masculine. And can you identify the gender of вечер? It ends in a consonant, it's a masculine noun. Neuter, masculine, masculine. Доброе утро. Добрый день. Добрый вечер. Okay. And now everybody after me one more time. Доброе утро. Добрый день. Добрый вечер. Хорошо. Хорошо. So practice. Practice greeting each other with Доброе утро or Добрый день, depending upon the time of the day when you see each other for the first time. And that's an important thing to remember. The Russian people say Здравствуйте and Доброе утро or Добрый день to each other only when they see each other for the first time that day. When you see the same person a second time, you just smile and nod. You don't say Здравствуйте or Добрый день. If you do that, then that person will say that you are really confused. You don't even remember whether you have seen him today or not. So, please remember about this. You greet each other with Здравствуйте 
and доброе утро or добрый день only the first time when you see each other. After that, just smile and nod and communicate politeness via other ways. But don't say здравствуйте and добрый день each time you see the same person. Ну, хорошо. Хорошо. So, a lot of phrases that, a lot of conversational phrases that you know and I want you to start using them with each other but please use them appropriately. Try to practice them within the context of the Russian culture. Хорошо. But let's continue working on the phrases that we use every day and that I will be using in class. Well, we need to know how to say excuse me or pardon me, forgive me. And that's what you say in Russian. Простите, пожалуйста. Простите, пожалуйста. And that's a very good phrase for you to know because very often you need to attract someone's attention when you need to ask a question. And you begin with простите, пожалуйста. Excuse me. Простите, пожалуйста. And one more time. Простите, пожалуйста. Простите, пожалуйста. And you will come across this phrase in your textbook when you are reading dialogues or doing exercises. Another way of saying the same thing, forgive me, excuse me, pardon me, is извините, пожалуйста. Извините, пожалуйста. Простите, пожалуйста, and извините, пожалуйста, mean exactly the same thing and can be used interchangeably. Извините, пожалуйста. Also a very good way to catch a person's attention. Извините, пожалуйста. And then you can go ahead and ask a question or say whatever it is that you want to say. Извините, пожалуйста. Хорошо. And uh, one more situation that we need to go over. There's a visitor by the door and he or she knocks. And what do you do? How do you ask that person to come in? You say, входите, пожалуйста. Come in, please. Входите, пожалуйста. Входите. Входите. Входите, пожалуйста. You hear a knock on the door or the bell is ringing and you say, Входите, пожалуйста. And notice the use of this word, пожалуйста. Входите, пожалуйста. Please come in. Ну, хорошо. Итак, скажите, пожалуйста. Now tell me, please. Скажите, пожалуйста. Как по-русски? Good morning. Доброе утро. А как по-русски? Good afternoon. Добрый день. Как по-русски? Good evening. Добрый вечер. Хорошо. Как по-русски? Thank you. Спасибо. А? Как по-русски? Excuse me, please. Простите, пожалуйста. And there's another phrase. Извините, пожалуйста. А как по-русски? Come in, please. Входите, пожалуйста. Ну, хорошо. Хорошо. So, keep practicing with all those phrases. Just say them in Russian when you need to say them. Хорошо, хорошо. And now, I see chess. I let us talk about seasons, seasons. When we were learning the Russian alphabet, we learned some of those words. We learned the names of some of the seasons, not all the four of them. But today we will complete our season set. Let's begin with this. Это Лето. Лето. Лето по-английски summer. 
лето. After me, please. Лето. Да. Это лето. Хорошо. And now let's look at this. And can you read the word for me? Зима. Это зима. А как по-английски зима? Winter. Это зима. Зима. Хорошо. Now let's look at this. Это осень. Это осень. Как по-английски осень? Fall or autumn. Осень. Осень. Это осень. And uh, let's look at our fourth season. Это, and can you read this word? It's a new word, but you can easily read it. Весна. Весна. По-английски spring. Весна. Весна. So these are your four seasons of the year. Лето, зима, осень, весна. Лето по-английски summer, зима по-английски winter, осень по-английски fall, autumn, and весна по-английски spring. Лето, зима, осень, весна. And now again, I want each of you to find his or her ручка. And uh, let's write these words down. Итак, let us begin with summer. Лето. Лето. And what's the Russian word for winter? Зима. Зима. Now, how do we say fall or autumn? Осень. Осень. And uh, finally, what's the Russian word for spring? Весна. Весна. Лето. Зима. Осень. Весна. Лето is which gender? Ends in O. So it's a neuter noun. Зима is feminine. It ends in A. Now, осень is an interesting word. It ends in the soft sign. And you remember that the gender of the words that end in the soft sign needs to be memorized. Осень is feminine. Осень is a feminine noun ending in the soft sign. And весна ends in a, so it's a regular feminine noun. Весна. Лето, зима, осень, весна. This is your complete set. Ну, хорошо. Хорошо. Итак, как по-русски, what's the Russian for? Как по-русски, winter, зима. Как по-русски, summer, лето. Как по-русски, spring, весна. А как по-русски, fall, осень, осень. Ну, хорошо. And now let's look at the pictures and you will identify these seasons for me. Итак, скажите, пожалуйста, tell me, please, скажите, пожалуйста, что это? Это зима. А что это? Это осень. Что это? Это лето. А это? Что это? Это весна. Это весна. 
Хорошо. Что это? Это осень. Так, а что это? Это зима. Это зима. Что это? Это весна. Весна. А что это? Это лето. Это лето. Ну, хорошо. Хорошо. So, you know, зима, весна, лето, осень. Your four seasons of the year. Зима, весна, лето, осень. And there is a little cultural difference between the United States and Russia when seasons are concerned. The interesting thing is that in Russia, the season changes on the first of the month. So the first day of fall is September the 1st. So September, October, November are your fall months, your autumn months. And then on the 1st of December, which season begins? Winter, zima, zima. And from the 1st of December, To the last day of February, we have Zima. But then spring begins on which day? March the 1st. March the 1st is the first day of spring. And March, April, and May are referred to as spring. And then what is the first day of summer? June the 1st. And summer? lasts from June the 1st to August the 31st. And September the 1st brings осень. So, please remember that in Russia, the season changes on the 1st of the month. Хорошо. So, seasons. And uh, now let's talk about the day. Just one day. How do we break it into parts? At the beginning of today's lesson, we learned how to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening in Russian. Do you still remember? Доброе утро, добрый день, добрый вечер. So, the divisions of the day are утро, день, Вечер. Утро, morning, день, day, вечер, evening. Утро, день, вечер. Now read these words. Утро, день, вечер. Утро, день, вечер. But how do we say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening? In the English language we use prepositions. But in the Russian language we do something different. We change endings. So let's take a look at these words. Утрам. Днем вечером. These words mean in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. Утром. Notice that instead of using a preposition, we're changing the ending. Утром. In the morning. Днем. In the afternoon and вече рам in the evening. Утром, днем, вече рам. And uh, yes, we do need to write these words down. Итак, 
How do we say in the morning? Ut ram. In the afternoon? The norm. And in the evening? Wer chair ram. Ut ram. Dnyom vecheram. And I want you to remember that this phrase means in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. Хорошо. So, let's again talk a little bit about Ivan Ivanovich and его семья. What do they do in the evening? Что они делают вечером? Вечером Иван Иванович и его семья отдыхают. Вечером Иван Иванович читает газету. Анна Петровна читает журнал. А Максим и Нина? Максим и Нина слушают музыку. So let's look at this paragraph. Вечером... Иван Иванович и его семья отдыхают дома. Иван Иванович читает газету. Анна Петровна слушает. Анна Петровна читает журнал. Максим и Нина слушают музыку. And all of this is happening вечером. In the evening. So you know what Ivan Ivanovich and his family are doing вечером. А что вы делаете вечером? Can you tell me what you do in the evening? Что вы делаете вечером? Вечером я отдыхаю. Я читаю книгу или журнал. А что вы делаете вечером? Please practice explaining what you do in the evening. Что вы делаете вечером? Хорошо. So right after this lesson, take your additional exercises, those sheets with additional exercises, and uh, start working with all the vocabulary that we covered during today's lesson. And then at home, at home, find your workbook. In the workbook, we need to find урок номер три. And on page 50, please translate numbers 21 through 23. This will be a very good review of all those things that we learned from урок номер три. And certainly, review notes taken during today's lesson. We learned a lot about conversational phrases and we learned seasons and divisions of the day. Ну, хорошо. Очень хорошо. Большое спасибо. Большое спасибо. И до свидания.